Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're glad you're here. Today we're going to talk about overheating with tractors. Now it's a fairly common problem, but it's fairly easy to avoid also. So today we're going to talk about the things to check to avoid it. Stay with us. Here we are with our 2000 Cub Cadet tractor with our 1.4 liter Mitsubishi diesel engine in it. Now let's go over those things you need to check to avoid overheating. And you need to do this on a regular basis. So you can see we've got the cowling off the tractor so we can get to everything. Now it's very difficult in this year tractor to get out the uh, protection screen out in front of the radiator without lifting the bucket. So we did that earlier. So this is the screen that slides in and out right here in front of the radiator. This keeps out the majority of the dust and seed heads and grass and everything that's going to accumulate or try to accumulate in your radiator. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure this is clean all the time. And a great way to do that is with a wire brush. Unfortunately, you can't really get to many parts of this without taking it out of the tractor. So that needs to be done. And that is the first thing that needs to be done. So make sure you do that. Make sure you get yourself a good wire brush to be able to take care of that. Secondly, we're going to check our air filter. Now, if that's really caked up, that could lead, also lead to overheating, but not as common as having that uh, radiator plugged up. That's a really bad idea uh, to have that uh, caked up and everything. But as you can see here, that thing is almost pristine and it's about a year old, so no problem with that. You also can clean out the trap underneath uh, your uh, air filter box or air filter canister, and that trap will let out some dirt and dust. This one has a little dirt in it, but it didn't make it to the filter, so it's pretty well adhered to the inside. From there, we go to our radiator. Now, the front of our radiator was pretty bad. So check out what we did to clear it. So a handy tool if your radiator is really caked up is an air compressor with an air hose with a nozzle just like this. You want to get behind the radiator and blow whatever debris is in there back out the front because it came in through the front and needs to go back out the front. If you try to blow it back into the engine, it's going to probably get even more stuck in that radiator and that's not a good idea. Blow it from the back to the front. Now, however you can get in there best is great. Just make sure you um, get all of that dirt and debris out of your radiator. If there is a, just a little bit of dust in there and just a little bit of debris, you can use a very soft bristle, bristled brush to go over the front of the radiator. Now be careful. You want to go in the direction of the fins. Most fins go like this from top to bottom. You want to brush with the fin, not up and down. You don't want to bend those fins or you'll damage the radiator. One of the last things to check for is your coolant level. Now let's bring you in here. Okay, now make sure when you check your coolant level, you do not open your radiator when it's hot you will scald yourself, you will burn. That's a disclaimer. Uh, don't blame me. Don't do it. Absolutely do not do it. Wait till the engine is completely cold to open this up. And we're going to look down inside and see that our radiator is nice and topped off. And actually what you can do is look on the inside of your, of your cap here and look for any kind of gumming up of the cap or um, some really dirty, dirty coolant. This one, as you can see, is beautiful. It's uh, very clean, so we don't have any issues with uh, rust buildup or anything in our radiator right now that we can see. Also, make sure your overflow tank is at the proper level with the appropriate mixture of coolant to water for your climate. Now lastly, you want to check for cracks or leaks in your, all of your radiator hoses. If you're leaking coolant, 
you're probably going to overheat the engine fairly soon if you're low on coolant. So make sure you always check and monitor these. This is the temperature gauge on our tractor. Now it's important to monitor this at all times. And if you get up here into the red zone, you need to shut the tractor off immediately. Let the engine cool down and then check for any of the problems we've previously mentioned. If there are no problems, then it's safe to turn your tractor back on. A great way to avoid getting a lot of debris into your radiator or onto that screen in front of your radiator is to, when you're brush hogging, take your bucket off. If you're brush hogging and you have your bucket at a certain level, it's usually skimming fairly tall grass and knocking a lot of it back directly into the radiator. So that is one way to really avoid getting a lot of debris back in there. I hope that's helpful to you. Beyond that, it's just constant maintenance. Now, a tractor this old, you really want to check for issues before every use. Check your coolant level, check for cracks in the hoses or anything of that nature and check to see if there's debris out of that radiator and off that screen. Beyond that, have a great time using your tractor. I hope this video helped you out. We want you here on a permanent basis on our channel. If you like what we're talking about here, stick with us and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell next to it. Also, go visit us on countrylivingexperience.com and jump down below into the, into the description to check out products and tools that we recommend that we use and are tested daily here on the homestead. We thank you for being with us. Have a great day and we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.